The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Guys, we have two Atlanta, WWE's Georgia, most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. Pound, I can tell you that the entire Kevin tag team division Knight. has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. And his partner from Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 190 pounds, the superstar. Byron, how big is this match for these two teams here tonight? Well, Michael, the tag team division is white hot right now. So while a win will obviously be huge, I can tell you that a loss would be absolutely devastating. Given the competition right now, a loss tonight would be a huge setback. from these two teams here tonight. Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team title tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champion. Here's a cover. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Not yet. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was a team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After a gore from Rhino practically cut Jimmy Uso in half, Rhino and Heath Slater went from an unlikely tag team to the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Never say never in WWE is absolutely right. Been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. 
Beautiful technique. He's not looking like himself here. Oh. Headed into this match, he and his partner look. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Looking to catch him off guard there, I guess. Not yet. Dominating shoulder tackle. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Max Handel finds the mark. Oh boy, he is winning. that one. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. No, there's the reversal. Resolve. Crashing down the hard way. <laughs> oh, man! His partner wants back in. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different things. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute. Time to flip it. Oh, switch. This one's over, guys. Jeez, I felt that one over here. His shoulders are down. Max Handel finds its target. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a lot of time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be. He might have it. Could be something here. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw it. In That's just great execution. He's making a statement here with this attack. feet here and it's moves like that that make him so dangerous Boom. <laughs> I think only a group is treacherous as and he tags his partner in momentum has suddenly shifted here Michael what a strike oh boy he is The tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other is the New Day. Xavier Woods, Big E, and Kofi Kingston are two-time tag team champions. 
but it was their second reign that put the New Day name in WWE history books forever. He's looking at it. Mr. Rock finds its mark. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Oh, I can't believe this. He's getting after it here. Look at him go. This is how he ended it. Here are your winners, Kevin Knight and the Superstar. It could have gone either way there for a while. What we just saw there was a doctorate class in tag team competition. They just took the game to a whole other level. What an effort we saw here, truly a great match.